I know this can be difficult. So inside of today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to join a dark house. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and so far you visited the mysterious patron. We have also done a shadow contract with bartender Bailey, but we haven't joined a dark house. Why do you wanna join a dark house? To try and take down the immortals. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down or actually just kind of showing you how to do it because it can be very confusing. So if you like that, if you are into Diablo Immortal, I want you to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. Actually, keep hitting it. Keep hitting that like button because eventually it will explode. So slam it. Let me show you guys what to do. All right, so first place you need to go is down here into the Court of Whispers. This is gonna bring up the loading screen because you're getting into a new area. Then you need to run all the way across. I'm literally gonna be doing this with you guys so you don't get lost. You're gonna go past these tables where you can actually take a seat if you want to. You're gonna go up these stairs and right across the way, you see right here we have enter the assembly hall. We're gonna enter the assembly hall. Mind you, right now we're a shadow. We can do shadow contracts and shadow events, but we're not part of a dark house, so we can't contest the immortals. Once you're in here, quick no loading screen happens. You're gonna come all the way across past this thing. Remember that beautiful animation we saw in yesterday's video or possibly the day before? And we're gonna come speak to Akiba's fate. Now, this is important. If you look over at the left-hand side of the screen, you'll notice the assembly is only active during certain times. And I'll be honest with you guys, I don't love this, but it's only active Wednesdays and Saturdays from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. server time. Now, this means server time is the time in the game. You can see on the bottom left-hand corner of the game, it's 7.16 p.m. It's actually 10, 16 p.m. for me, but all the times go by that server time. During Wednesday and Saturday, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. server time, you will be able to join a dark house. Now, if I go on over here, we can take a look at those dark houses, and you'll see there are three. One of them is mine and Nemo's, the Scrappy Echoes, which is going to be the dark house that I myself join. When I go to apply, it tells me you can't because it's not open for registration right now. And this here says the announcement of the official dark house of the Echo Gaming and Scrappy Academy. Let's take down those immortals. Join us on Discord at Discord. Nice description there, Nemo. So that is exactly how you want to join up a dark house. Then it's basically a clan inside of a clan because you could have your clan inside of the game and then you could have your dark house inside of the game as well. So there's multiple reasons to have clans and groups of people and they could be all the same thing if you want them to. It's all up to you, but we have a quest to do. So let's do it. I guess they just want me to learn about dark houses. We are going to tap to close and complete that. And uh, yeah, there's just tons of things. This is all the learning phase. I don't want to do any more learning. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go slay some demons in an Elder Rift. Let's go. Come on with me. Let's see what kind of gems we can pull in. See, I told you guys you could sit down in the chairs because my Crusader needed a little break. So we're sitting down. You can't do that in other mobile games. Yes, we're auto navigating to those Elder Rifts. I also have a very special video coming out for you guys next week featuring Elder Rifts, specifically Legendary Crests and Legendary Gem Elder Rifts. We're going to be running a test. That's going to be live for you guys in a couple of days. It's an in-depth video. It takes some planning, but look forward to it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pop in three Legendary Crests, leaving me with 30 of them which is actually perfect for the video that I have planned. We're going into the rift, we're gonna slay some demons and then get some legendary gems. We have some legendary gem work to do as well in an upcoming video. Okay, we have unhindered, hit and run, will to survive, frenzied monsters, fast monsters, monsters to, okay. The monsters are just stronger, great. Good stuff, here we go. We're gonna start off right here, cha-ching. Area of effect damage, Going, we're, we're literally using everything right here. We're going with it all. That was really quick and easy. We're just gonna run our way around. I do like jumping on horseback. Gets me past the mobs a lot quicker. You wanna see something cool? I'll check this out. Consecration. 
and Falling Sword. How much damage will just those do? I'm not even attacking. Hands off. How many kills? 39 kills with no hands. Impressive. Impressive stuff. More blue heads. Boom. We're just going to go with the uh, drawn quarter right there. Ringing around the rosy around their blue heads. Taking them down. No problem. That worked out nicely. And then we uh, hop, skip, and a jump out of there. Because we're looking for more. Remember, in Elder Rifts, if you've never done this before, you don't have to attack anything but the colorful heads. We have an orange right now. Boom. Let's take this guy down. Oh, yeah. He's going to go down, as is everything else. We're going to have another 30-plus kill right here. Uh, yeah, close to it. Actually, more. Whoa, health. This thing, this purple light is brutal. Okay, we got him taken down. We'll also take the experience globes. We're getting close to Paragon level 13. Oh, we want... Where did that go? I want that. Here it is. We'll take that. And we're going to run up. Remember... To do this, you just run past all these guys until they get you stuck, and then you sometimes have to fight them. And you try and take down as many blue, purple heads as you can, because once you get those taken down, you can then go and, uh, well, you can go fight the final boss, which is where you get the rewards. We're going to put Holy Banner down, because I was just getting a little bit, uh, I was getting myself into a little bit of heat there. Keep it on moving. There should be something right around this court. Is there nothing here? Have I run myself in circles, or will there be someone for me to destroy? Definitely, uh... There's gotta be something around this corner. Come on, now. There they are. The blue heads await me. Going with everything, even drawn quarter, which is rain... Look at all this. Look at all of this damage. That was only 19 kills before they all went away, because we spawned the big boss. We'll take that extra XP, though. Oh, and he's right over here. Check that out. Let's go here. Boom. Uh, I used draw and quarter a little prematurely. I should have slowed it down. Because now I have to wait on all my other skills. But we'll use them right now. Perfect time. Okay. All's good in the world. Who are we even fighting here? And do go. There have been some new Elder Rift bosses I've been noticing. This being one of them. Kind of liking it. Good job. Blizzard with the uh, new boss enhancements. Seeing some new people. And Dugo is the man in this one. Man, I assume. Maybe not man. Holy Banner. Falling Sword. Boom. Done. What kind of gems are we going to grab right now? Let's see. First of all, we're going to get all of our health globes because we like to get extra even though we don't need extra. We have Alti. What do we get here? We got the Respite Stone, the Unity Crystal, and Carson's invigoration how can i you know what i'm trying to do right now i'm trying to get a thumbnail screenshot that's what i'm trying to do one of the best features in these elder rifts are the blacksmith spawns with the teleport out so we can get rid of all of these things before we go and also it's worth noting if i were to leave and not pick up my gems they would be sent to me in a mailing so it's not like you would miss out on them the other day uh, I think it was my son that did it and missed out on his gems. And I was like, oh, no, you just wasted your gems. But he didn't, actually. He was good. So what we're going to be doing in a very soon video, upcoming video, one coming in a few days, is do some work on our gems, upgrading them, collecting them, and putting in the ones in the best spots. Then we're going to be moving on over and doing some heavy Elder Rifting with those Legendary Crests. It's going to be exciting. And where do you get legendary crests, you ask? Well, you come right here to the Crest Merchant and you purchase them with your eternal orbs. It looks like I can get two more right here. Thank you very much for your patronage. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember to sub the channel. And also, if you want to chat with me more, you can come through the Discord server, which is the pinned comment down below, as well as in the description of this video. So I'll see you guys over there chatting it up about Diablo Immortal. Hopefully you guys have gotten a chance to play. If not, Live through me, my brothers. We will get to the end together. Have a great day, guys, and be good.